oppose uh, in the strongest terms possible. I will not abide by any group of people who have decided that their mission in life is to bring down our yeshivas. I will not abide that. Not not for one second. And uh, if I, you know, look, I, I trust the mayor um, that he that that he recognizes and respects our community. He was a council member here for a long time. I believe he has good intentions in his heart. Um, I hope the same for the chancellor. Uh, but I'll be at the forefront on this the second I get there. Um, and I'll be the poster child. I'm going to talk to the chancellor and I'm going to talk to the mayor and I'm going to say, look at me. I went to a Hasidish yeshiva. I, I spoke in Yiddish in my yeshiva. That's how we learned. And I had English studies. I had secular studies. And I came out of there and I went on to Masifta and I went on to earn my high school diploma. And I went on to college at a from college and I went on 10 years after I graduated college and went back to school to earn my law degree. None of that would have been possible if the education I received at a Hasidic Yeshiva here in Borough Park was awful the way the way it's being painted by these organizations and I take offense frankly for on behalf of all of our Mechanchen and all of our Menalem that work so hard every day not just to, to give our children the entire education that they deserve and that their parents are demanding but to give our children the warm environment, the educational nurturing environment that we demand that yeshivas provide. So I, when I talk about a particular city policy that I want to criticize, I don't just get up there and criticize the policy. I say I criticize the policy and I have an idea for how to fix it. And one of the things that bothers me, frustrates me to no end about Yafed is that all they do is hate monger on our yeshivas. They hate monger on our yeshiva systems. They never come up and they say, look, yeshivas do a fine job at keeping our children safe from outside uh, uh, influences. They do a fine job at keeping our children safe from violence, from out, from whether within or without. They do a fine job at feeding our children. By the way, our yeshivas, in many instances, certainly from uh, from my child, our yeshivas are responsible for three square meals a day for our children. Where are you getting this in New York City other than in our yeshivas? I don't hear anything from that organization about our yeshivas doing well. All I hear is yeshivas awful, yeshivas awful. And frankly, I'm a little tired of it, David. I'm a little tired of the negativity. And they would have a little respect, a little respect, and they would command some some conversation with them if they would come out and say, these are the things our yeshivas do right, and these are the things we disagree with them, and we want to acknowledge the good, and let's have a conversation about the other things that they believe, and then we could have a conversation. But David, they have no credibility. They're coming at our yeshivas gangbusters. They're attacking our yeshivas. They're attacking our way of life. They're attacking our Messiah, and I will not stand for it. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.